Hey everyone, Richard Kennedy here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a blessed day. Let me tell you folks, there's a lot going on in the world right now. A lot going on. Uh, this is March 5th, 2019. And just last month we had a, uh, what's called a wolf blood moon take place. Um, right now, and uh, this past weekend or last week, we had some flooding in Jerusalem, which knocked down part of the wall that divides uh, the two cities there in Jerusalem. Um, I predicted um, a record ice melt uh, down in Antarctica, and just recently, over the last uh, few days, they have uh, discovered an ice shelf that's about to break off. It's like the size of New York. Um, that's about to break off the shelf there in Antarctica. I called it. Um, I said that was going to happen. Um, we have peace talks right now that's been going on in, um, um, in the Middle East for six nations. This is a good thing. It needs to happen. Uh, there's talk of this third temple, and there's been talk of this third temple. Oh, you know, this third temple's going to be built here, going to be there, and it's going to be elaborate, and, and it's the end of the world. Well, let me tell you, I know a little bit about the third temple that's come to me from the Lord, and it's not going to be anywhere where anybody thinks it is, and it's going to be built, and it's not going to be as elaborate or anything like anybody uh, thinks it is as well. So more to come on that. But um, this past weekend, uh, there were some major uh, tornadoes, record tornadoes. Uh, in Alabama, uh, which killed a lot of people. One of these tornadoes was like an F4, um, and it, um, it, it, it went like 24 miles long, uh, and just total devastation. Folks, I've been saying this, and I, and I prophesied it, and I said this year, 2019, was going to be a record for tornadoes. There's going to be a possible record for hurricanes and the floods and all. It, we're in the book of Revelations. We're living the times of Revelations right now, folks. And everybody needs to really seriously take a look at what's going on. You know, I, I don't, I don't get on these videos, uh, you know, to look like an idiot um, or to boast about the the gifts that I have and the things that I receive from, uh, you know, from God and the images and these pictures that I have. Uh, they're all real. I mean, the King on the white horse that I have, it's real. God, arms wide open, up in the heavens. Come on, folks. I didn't make any of that up. It is real, and these are signs from God, and he's given me the gift, the ability to capture these images and pictures. Like, like I said, the king on the white horse showed up in my DNA, and it was a tube this big. I mean, come on, y'all. I'm not boasting about anything. I'm a messenger of God here to tell everyone, look, we're in the times of Revelation. However, it's not the end of the world. God is not ready for the world to end. We need to change our ways. And the second, the end of the second 1,000 years is coming up after the crucifixion of Christ. Christ was crucified in the year 28 to 29 AD. And in the book of Revelations, it says at, you know, that, the, that the devil was thrown into the pit of hell after his crucifixion, right at his crucifixion, where the devil shall remain, and the beast and the antichrist shall remain for a thousand years. And after that thousand years, he's to be loosened a little. Well, if you do the simple math, folks, 2829 AD, you add 1,000 years to it, that's 1,028, 1,029 AD, and at that point, the devil is to be loosened a little bit, where he shall remain for a thousand years on the earth. Do the math. 1,028, 1,029 AD, What's the next thousand years? 2028, 2029. Folks, this is 2019. We have 10 years to straighten our act up because it's time for the devil to go back down to hell with the beast and with the antichrist that, that, that <laughs> he, he's on earth today now. And so is the blood of Christ and Christ walks in this world as well. People, you need to know Jesus Christ. You need to come to him now. We got less than 10 years. Okay, less than 10 years. We can extend another 1,000 years of tribulation. We can extend it. We can, but we've got to change. We've got to change the way we live because the environment is toxic, because of the toxic ways we, as humans, are living today. Okay? God's not destroying the planet. God is not ready for the planet to be destroyed. We the people, as I've said many times, we the people are destroying the world. And we've got to stop our toxic ways of living now. 
we not only just the way we live as far as toxicity and the cleaners and the and the soaps and, and things like that that we that we use that's harming the planet, but also the toxic ways that we live as far as evil doings, malicious things that uh, that people do to others and scheme up things. Uh, come on, Washington. Come on, people. Get together in Washington. This is ridiculous of what what's going on. President Trump is trying his butt off. Excuse my French, God trying his rear end off for this country and for the safety of this country. He's not a demon. He's not the devil. He's not the antichrist. But others over there are. All this, you know, it's this mud throwing stuff and slinging back and forth. Come on, y'all. He was elected president of the United States. All them are mud slinging and throwing it. That's the devil at work. That's the devil in you that's working against our country and we look like idiots out there we look like total idiots because of the way congress and people in congress are treating president trump get behind him you know he's coming you know the, the 2020 elections are coming up why are you still throwing mud in his face we need to stop that's the devil's work you need to stop get behind him and guess what the elections are coming in less than you know what a couple years now, they're coming okay if you don't like it just re-elect him Get behind him. You're not going to agree with everything, but you don't have to throw the mud at him. Come on, folks. That's the devil at work. And the devil sits up there. And, excuse me, he sits down here. And he's looking at all this going on, especially here in the United States, all the mud slinging, and he's just laughing. The devil is loving every bit of it, y'all. You're fools. You're idiots, some of you are. I'm just an old boy out here in the country in, in, in Louisiana, and I, I'm getting things from the Lord. Uh, ten big tablets so far written, plus uh, what, about seven or eight hundred pictures of true images that are sent to me saying, hey y'all, you better straighten up. You better straighten your act up. It's all from God. And right, people around the world, you better wake up. These peace talks that are going on and the, uh, the peace agreement uh, over the Middle East, that needs to happen. That totally needs to happen. I mean, look, we got repeated winter storms coming in left and right, one right after another. Um, there's all kinds of things that, that, that's, that's going on. And, and two, um, I found some interesting things with my eyesight that the Lord has given me, uh, not just on satellite imagery, but um, the uh, Leonardo da Vinci painting of the Last Supper. Uh, yeah, I have found some really interesting things um, embedded in that painting. Um, folks, you need to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You really need to understand that the blood of Christ does walk upon this earth today. The true blood. Jesus Christ. It's real. There is a bloodline. There's some things about England. That's the reason why King Richard and King Henry have shown up in some of the uh, pictures that I have. Their images have shown up for a reason. I have some things on England. I'm not going to throw no mud or anything like that. I know some stuff that's going on that's fake. Um, not real. And it's been going on for centuries. Um, it's time to stop the lies. Okay? Everybody. It's time to love one another. It's time to throw down the weapons. Give up the arms. Love one another. Peace towards each other. Um, because, like I said, 10 years, folks. The pre-tribulation is going on. It's already started. And you see the burning of the churches, um, uh, the Jewish um, synagogue, what was that, in uh, Squirrel Point, I think, you know, Pennsylvania, uh, the shootings in the churches and the burnings of the churches. It's a trial of the church, folks. The trial of the church takes place by the devil, by Satan himself. And all these are wake-up calls. They're just wake up and saying, you know, you better get your act together. I pray for the Catholic religion. I do. The Vatican's in a mess right now. Uh, I know a lot about the Vatican as well because God sent me a lot of things on that. Um, I pray. I pray. I've got a lot of friends that are Catholics 
and um, uh, the religion, like I said, and the priests and all, they're in a turmoil, but it's not just that religion. There, there's others as well. So drop the religion, stay with your faith, accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, repent and come to Him. In fact, for final closing here, uh, Book of Revelations, I just want to um, I read King James Version. I want to read uh, some chapters or some verses here. Um, Book of Revelations chapter uh, 21, verse 22. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. Verse 23. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. In verse 24. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the final chapter, verse 22 of the book of Revelations. This is uh, Jesus' words, verse 12. And behold, I'll come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be, according to your work. You do evil, you're going to get judged seven times greater of your evil. Come your day of judgment. Verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Verse 18, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. And what did I just say about the churches? I am the root and the offspring of David, King David, and the bright and the morning star. And finally, verse 20, 21 of chapter 22. He which testifies these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. And 21, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Repent soon. Now. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Because the way to heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you, and I pray and I hope all of us go to heaven. But the only one, he's the judge. Lord God, he's our judge. I can't judge you, you can't judge me. We all have our different paths. We all have our different gifts given to us from God at birth. Accept it, go with it. I love each and every one of you. I hope every one of you have a great day.